Today we're diving into MCP, that is Model Context Protocol, the revolutionary standard that lets you give your AI agents superpowers, like automatically debug browser console or network errors, query the database, or resolve issues, and even push code to GitHub on your behalf. If you're looking to boost your AI coding workflow and seamlessly integrate tools like GitHub, databases, or even real-time browser debugging, then this is the tutorial for you. Stick around and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up MCP servers, integrate them into your AI coding environment, like Cursor or another IDE, and take your coding productivity to the next level. Let's jump right in. So what exactly is MCP? Model Context Protocol is like a universal USB port for your AI. Instead of needing special code to plug into GitHub, databases, or browser debugging tools, MCP gives you a standard way to connect all these services to your AI agent. Think of it as one protocol that rules them all. If you have ever tried to hang a picture on the wall, you know you might reach for a nail. But what if you only have screws? A traditional API-based approach won't adapt. It's basically stuck looking for the exact nail it's programmed to use. MCP, however, checks for nails first, but if nails aren't available, it can adapt and use screws. This flexibility is why MCP is quickly becoming the go-to standard for AI integrations. Different servers let you do different tasks. You might install one for GitHub, one for browser debugging, or even uh, one for services like Zapier or databases. Once your AI agent supports MCP, you can pick and choose which servers you want. In my opinion, the two popular and most useful integrations are GitHub and browser tools. Let's start by connecting GitHub to your AI. This is especially handy for automating version control, pushing commits, creating branches, or even merging pull requests. First things first, uh, open your terminal and check for node version, node dash dash version. Um, I, if you get a version number, I have a very old one, uh, but I can change it to use the latest version, which is uh, 23. I use MVM node version manager. I can use it to manage different versions of node. But if you don't have node, you can go to uh, nodejs.org to download uh, Node.js for your operating system. Next, go to your GitHub account. I created a brand new GitHub account because I wanted to experiment with this MCP tool for GitHub, and I wanna be 100% um, sure that it will not do any damage. And so um, go to your GitHub account and click on this profile icon at the top right hand corner and click on settings. Scroll down and select developer settings at the bottom left hand corner. Click on personal access tokens, click on fine grained tokens and click generate new token. Uh, provide a token name, I'll say MCP dash cursor. token to be used with MCP. Select resource owner expiration. I'll select seven days. And you can select whether you want to give access to public repositories only or all repositories. I'll select all repositories. And here you can customize what permissions you would like uh, to allow. Um, here, since this is a brand new uh, GitHub account, I don't mind giving it full access, read and write access to administrations. Um, if you want your MCP to read code scanning alerts, you can uh, allow read and write access. Um, code spaces, I don't need that. Commit statuses, I can do read and write. Uh, contents, I'll do read and write. Depend about alerts, I like to read and write. 
um, deployments, I'd like to read and write, um, issues, read and write issues, pull request, read and write, and I think that's set, and I'll click generate token. I'll give you a summary of all your um, permissions for all repositories. I'll, I'll click on generate token. It'll generate this token for you. Once you have uh, this token generated, um, you can go to codingmoney.com and so search for MCP. Um, this is a blog post article, uh, if you prefer a written guide. Uh, this is what I'll be using to uh, copy some codes from. All right, so uh, to connect GitHub MCP to your AI client, uh, we'll go to cursor, click the cursor menu, click on settings, cursor settings, click MCP, and here click on the blue button that says add new global MCP server and paste the code over here. You'll need to copy and paste your GitHub token over here. So let's do that. Go back to where we generated our personal access token. I'll copy this token. I'll go ahead and replace this with the GitHub token like that. I'll save this. Once I save this, I can close this file and you will see a green uh, dot, which means this is successfully created. Now to test this, I'll say, please push the local repo to a new GitHub repo. Click send. This is gonna create a new a repository on GitHub. As you can see, it's calling the MCP tool, uh, create repository, um, and it's running all these commands. If you come to um, under features, I've selected to uh, enable auto run mode. And once you have this checked, this activates the YOLO mode. It will automatically run the commands, um, but do this with caution. You can uh, allow the commands here that you want to allow and you can deny like if you don't want um, your AI agent to remove files you can check this box uh, to protect file deletion. All I had to do was to ask it to push the local repo into a new GitHub repo. It went ahead and um, created a new GitHub repository on GitHub and then pushed all my local uh, files to this GitHub repository along with the readme file. Isn't this amazing? Ever had JavaScript errors slow you down? With Browser Tools MCP, you can let your AI open a browser, check console logs, and even suggest fixes on the fly. In this example, we'll ask our AI agents to change the color of this button by selecting this element in the browser. For this to work, you need Node.js, a Chromium-based browser like Chrome or Edge, an AI client with MCP support like Cursor or Cloud Desktop. Let's go back to the step-by-step -step tutorial on codingmoney.com and over here under browser debugging section, find uh, clone the repository, click copy to copy the get clone command, create a folder, let's call it browser tools. Let's open this folder with cursor, drag and drop on cursor. Let's open the terminal in cursor by pressing and holding down the uh, control uh, key with tilde sign. It will open the terminal and then we can paste the command over here. It will clone the repository. As you can see, it has cloned the um, repository with three folders, uh, Browser Tools MCP, Browser Tools Server, and Chrome extension. You need to load the Chrome extension. To load the Chrome extension, you can open 
uh, you can navigate to this. Like that and enable the developer tools. Select load unpacked and go to that folder where you clone the repository and select the Chrome extension and you will get the Chrome extension over here. The next step is to launch the server. Let's go back to the directory where we cloned the repository, the browser tools repository. We'll uh, switch into the browser tools server folder. So from here, I'm going to do browser, browser tools, MCP, and then browser, browser tools server. Once inside this folder, run the npm install command first. You need to make sure you have node version 18 and above. So I use node version 23 and I run npm run start. All right, so once your MCP um, uh, server is running, we can configure the AI client. Uh, let's go back to the step-by-step -step, um, blog tutorial on codingmoney.com. And from here, find the section where it says browser debugging and find the configuration for a cursor. You can copy this code or you can just copy from here to here. Once you copy this code, go to cursor. Click cursor, settings, click cursor settings, then click MCP, then click this button. Over here where the GitHub MCP server ends, add a comma and paste the code. And save this file. Once you save this file, you're going to see a green circle, small circle next to browser tools, which means that this browser tools MCP has been successfully connected. And now it is time to test it. To test the browser tools MCP, uh, make sure your project is running and open it in the browser by clicking this local link. Once it is running in the browser, you're going to see that the browser tools MCP started debugging this browser. You're going to see this uh, notification bar. And over here, uh, if I search for, for example, San Francisco, this is the button that I need to change the color. So all I'm going to do is right click on it, inspect this element, and I'll select this element in the browser. Then I'll go to my AI client or AI code editor. I'll say, can you please change the color of the button to green? The button element is select it in the browser. Hit enter. It's calling the MCP tool. As you can see, it was able to change the color of the button uh, on the fly. MCP is still in early days, but it's already changing how we integrate AI with external services. Anthropics Cloud has been a big adapter, and we can expect more official integrations, resource sharing uh, features, and advanced multi-step workflows. If you want your AI to be future-proof, starting with MCP is a no-brainer. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more tips on AI integrations and coding workflows. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about setting up MCP or if there is another MCP you want me to explore next. Now it's your turn. Give MCP a try, supercharge your AI, and see how much time you'll save on repetitive coding tasks. I'll catch you in the next video.